Hi everyone, this is Paul from The Outdoor Adventure showing a product produced by a Canadian creator named Dan Plant which is called the Chowl. Now if you've watched Dragon's Den you've probably seen this. It's a changing towel. They come in three models, the hybrid, the traveler and the sports. I've got the hybrid with me in the sports. They also come in two sizes, medium and large. Now the concept is based on the universal problem. You're at the beach or you're at the lake and you need to get changed and there's nowhere to change or if there is somewhere to change you've got the typical nasty change rooms which stink of nasty things and you don't want to go in there and you really don't want to go in there with your kids. So Dan came up with this idea, he's a lifeguard, to produce a changing towel. Now I'll open this up right here now this is the uh, hybrid. The hybrid is designed for a whole bunch of uses, we'll get into it in a minute. And it comes with this uh, changing towel and a little um, sleep mask as well if you're going to use it for uh, a blanket. And this towel is made out of polyester and fleece. It's got a hole for your head here. It also has, where is it, on this side a little pocket to put your keys etc when you're at the beach. So I'm going to put this on and show you what the idea is. Essentially you have this little thing over you so when you're at the beach and you want to get changed you don't have to worry about dropping the towel. You can grab stuff through it and uh, you can go inside and, and change and uh, get yourself prepared for the water without embarrassing yourself. That's a basic concept. Now in making this of course you can think of a, a whole bunch of uses for it. You can use it for a blanket now because you've got this little warm fleece on there as a sleeping bag liner if you're traveling. Uh, a lot of people when you're traveling and you're using hostels sometimes it's better to have a sleeping bag liner so you can use something like this for that. You can use it to dry off and of course you can use it as a mat on the ground in the sand. I've used it many times. Most recently when we were out uh, at a water park and again didn't didn't want to change in the nasty change rooms so I uh, put the kids in this and change them in that and then my, myself changed in the parking lot in this and again you don't uh, have to worry about uh, embarrassing yourself there. So lots of really cool uses. Um, this is the, the hybrid like I say it's a bit bigger it's a bit bulkier. Um, my favorite is actually this uh, sport model. It's a medium sport model one and it uh, has just the added benefit of it of drying a lot more quickly. So there you have it here, slightly smaller, and it a uh, quick drying option. So we took this backpacking as well with us with the kids, just to have them give them something to, to use to dry off in and change after they've been playing in the sand all the time. It's a really neat product once you get your head around uh, the idea that you're wearing a big dress. Although you can be a bit skeptical of something like this. If you've ever had to change in a nasty change room or had to change in public or with a towel doing the one hand dance, um, you'll realize that there's a really good market for something like this, especially if you're traveling as well and you want something which is multifunction. Uh, the one criticism I would say is, it's not really a criticism but an opportunity for improvement, is to have something a bit smaller for kids. So our, my kids will change in here, no problem. It's just a bit long so they tend to get tangled in there and tangle their uh, uh, shoes and clothing in the bottom of the of this, the chowl. So this is the chowl. Dan sent me a couple of these to try out. I really like the the concept. I think he's done a great job of executing it. And uh, although I'm sure you uh, probably haven't thought of something like this when you think about it, you can definitely see a place for it. Especially the ladies. Uh, that are watching and that have that struggle. Guys, we don't have as much um, shame, shall we say, but definitely uh, if you're looking for something useful and practical and that can be used as a whole bunch of things, definitely worth trying. Alright, thanks very much and thanks Dan for sending these to check out.